Let's have a look at the Arduino Explore IoT kit. And as the title says, this kit is specifically designed for IoT education and experimentation. So having a look inside, the first thing to notice is that the kit contains the MKR IoT carrier board. So unusual shaped board, it's a circular board. It has an OLED screen in the middle with touch sensors along the side. So one, two, three, four, five touch sensors. You can assign those touch sensor button equivalents to various functions. Each one has got its own LED that you can also program and use accordingly. This also senses here in the front. So there's a light intensity sensor, a humidity sensor and a temperature sensor, plus another couple of LEDs here as well. I'm going to remove it from the guard board. You see the, the rear of this board. And in the rear, you find a sort of headers where you can plug in the MKR 1010 board. Uh, that board comes as part of the kit as well. You also have two relays. This board has two relay connectors here on this side, so it can uh, connect external large loads. There's a battery connector that you can use with batteries like this one. This is of type 18650, 3.7 volts, rechargeable lithium ion battery. Remember that the MKR1010 has the ability to or to receive power from a battery like this and also to charge it. So then uh, other things that you find on this carrier board is an SD card reader and writer. So you can plug in a mini SD card here, record log data from sensors, for example. There are connectors up here. Uh, these connectors are A6 and A5. So you can see the silk screen here indicate the signal that goes through these connectors. And this one here is an I2C connector. Uh, this connector here is for your battery. So you can use a short cable that is also included in the kit to connect battery power to your Arduino MKR1010 device. So that's the board, the carrier board. Uh, also in the cardboard at the, the top of the kit, you see the activation code for your Arduino course. So you can go to arduino.cc forward slash edu forward slash start and type in this activation code and you get access to educational material. Very nice. Now inside the box, We've got a plastic case that you can use to install the carrier board in. So that would go in with the screen towards the outside of the larger shell. Let's see, that will go in like this. There's a little cutoff right here, uh, guiding you with how to insert the board in, and it looks like this. So now you are able to see through the, the clear larger shell of the case. You can see what's on the screen and you can also uh, use and activate the touch sensors, connect them to various functions. And the sensors, of course, still work. There is a set of screws here that allow you to secure the carrier board into the container. You can clip it in and it stays nice and secure there. It's also screw cutouts so you can mount this on say the wall if you want to use this as an environment monitor perhaps inside the box the most important other component is the arduino mkr wi-fi 1010 so let's take it out of the box so there's the arduino mkr 1010 and that connects. Just be careful with the alignment. Um, you've got, I'm looking at the side here, you've got the A ref pin up here. I'll match that with the A ref pin right here on the MKR. So the appropriate way to connect this two together is this. There you go. So that's how it all fits together. 
Next up, inside the box, we've got a USB cable. And a number of wires, jumper wires, a PIR motion sensor, a capacitive soil moisture sensor, and the battery walk connector, the battery cable. So to assemble all this together, just going to remove this uh, sticker, it's a protective sticker. It can connect the battery if you are using a battery, of course. Uh, that connector, that wire will go into the connector like that. And then on the carrier board like that. Now imagine that you've got a battery here. As long as the orientation is correct, this battery is not charged, so nothing is going to happen when I plug it in. But it would look like this when the battery is connected. Now you've got a couple of other connectors. So for example, uh, you've got, let's say, the capacitive soil moisture sensor, this device here. You can use one of these wires, one of these cables to connect your moisture sensor to one of the analog ports on the carrier board. And that would look like this. So now you can place this sensor inside, say, uh, a port with the plant and soil. You can use your carrier board with the Arduino MKR 1010 on it to monitor the soil humidity and make decisions of whether perhaps the, the plant needs additional water. Then you can use a pump connected to one of the relays to activate the pump and uh, deposit or draw some water from a reservoir for the port and uh, increase the moisture level of the soil there. It's just one of the possible applications. All right, so um, that's the contents of the Arduino Explore IO ticket. What is really nice about this kit is that it's carrier board contains a lot of components that otherwise you would need to plug in with wires to your Arduino. There are equivalent of buttons here so that you can activate various functions of your project. There's a screen to show things such as moisture levels for soil or readings from the integrated sensors down here. And of course, the whole package can be battery powered so it doesn't need to be tethered to a computer. Okay, let's continue with the next lecture where I'll show you the contents of the Arduino Sensor Kit from Seed Studio.